hello everyone this is asm arif uh, welcoming you today's tutorial today the topic is the photoshop and i'll edit a photo like um, mark singerman you know the famous photographer in instagram and all around the world and i'll edit like that okay let's start go to the file and open up the image i'll open and choose this image for today's tutorial and I downloaded this um, the image from the uh, unsplash.com I'll give you the stock image link in the video description and don't forget to subscribe for this type of the stock image and this kind of tutorial also okay let's start at first I'll make a copy as usual by pressing ctrl J or you can drag and drop uh, here is the copy option you can just drag and drop your layer and it will copy okay for the example I've shown you okay just go to the layer and select this lower layer after that go to the filter and camera raw filter why the camera raw filter camera raw filter is that filter or that uh, option uh, where you can get the all the dynamic things that means here you will um, just get the basic option here is that exposure contrast high highlights shadow the white specs clarity if you want to just uh, increase or decrease the um, or adjust the layer or color contrast okay after that you will get the tone curve tone curve you know that here is a curve curves option you can just make or just edit the curves of your image and after that you will just um, give uh, the amount of sharpening reduce or detail masking or luminance and noise reducer also after that you will get the hue saturation and luminance section where you can increase decrease or balance your photos uh, hue saturation and grayscale also after that here is the highlights or sport toning split toning is too much important for the image i'll show you how to do that but not in this tutorial after that you here is the lens correction and uh, the effect also here is the camera calibration options and much more things and you can also make it as a uh, settings uh, or preset you can save your settings as a preset save settings i'll show you how to do that okay uh, uh, why i'm just uh, telling this at type of word because of um, some of my um, fans and the followers just asked me why the camera raw filter camera raw filter is uh, that filter where you can get all the things in a package or in a photoshop and the same those features are also in a lightroom section and also the other section and other features in a lightroom but in a photoshop when you are just editing your photos and if you want to manipulate your photos you can just use this filter okay let's start at first in a basic section i'll just give some temperature of the warm temperature or sorry cool temperature and i'll give some just plus one when you are giving just minus one it will just teen will be in a plus one till the, the proper balance minus in the plus sections okay i'll reduce some exposure slightly and the contrast i'll increase and highlight just i'll de highlight the photo slightly minus 60 percent okay that's good and decrease the shadow also after that i'll increase the whitens and decrease the blacks after that i'll go to the clarity and increase the clarity 8 enough and add some vibrance and the saturations after that i'll go to the sharpening i'll add amount of sharpening and i'll reduce noise some a little bit 23 is enough after that go to the camera calibration option and just reduce the hue option okay and give some saturation hue option minus 53 this one is the mm, uh, special thing of the max ringer man the uh, the autumn feelings and the cyan color mm, effect in his photos and i'm trying to just bring this type of effect in using the photoshop okay after that i'll go to the hue saturation and luminance section here is 
the skin color is orange and background color should be or sky color should be the uh, blue but i'll use the cyan blue which is the speciality of the mark singer man you know that you know uh, his photos okay after that i'll just add some the effect of the sky okay this guy i just give some cyan colors from the color picker like that okay this is good and decrease the exposure of the sky okay get and just increase the shadow and after that press the hand button and it will just back to the previous window okay and then i'll go to the hue saturation luminance section uh, hue i'll just make the hue just 12 percent increase the hue of the aqua and increase the yellow of hue after that go to the saturation increase the saturation of yellow and the blue I'll decrease some saturation of orange and increase the luminance of orange you know the face color okay I'll increase some rate of luminance and just decrease this increase the saturation okay hit okay this one is the previous Im a previous image which is the dull type and this one is the present image which is which is like um, effect uh, like a cyan effect and then go to the color lookup option and add some color lookup which is horror blue and decrease the opacity of the horror blue section okay and make a group of these two layer and make the merge of this layer this one is the previous and the present image and I'll copy this image again and make it overlay the option the blending option overlay and go to the edit option go to fill and make it 50% gray okay after that just reset the foreground and background color by pressing D it will reset and go to the dodge burn option dodge burn option here is the dodge burn option burn for the burn for the black and the dodge for the white I'll add some dodge in a face like that okay and I will add burn in the hair and trace also if I turn on and off the filter it will show you okay after that I'll go to the gradient map and add gradient map and change the gradient map color I'll make it cyan hit ok and then make it soft light after do that just slightly reduce the opacity and I don't want to give the gradient map in a face that's why I'll press the mask option and go to the brush and make it black just brush over the face okay that's good after that what I'll do I'll have to do add some lights the special thing of Mark Singerman is uh, add the light bokeh go to the document uh, that means that this one is my document and I'll add some lights in my from my light collection light bokehs I'll give the link of this light bokeh and so hit ok and by pressing ctrl T just rotate this one ok I'll add extra light the light of just some lights hit ok and press the blending mode skin and make the mask and 
just remove the make it normal and just delete this one okay, you can move your lights okay select again mask and just remove the bokeh from the sky after that go to the color lookup and add horror blue options and reduce the horror blue okay after that go to the level and I will add some lights over there okay that's good and make the group of this layer and merge the group okay this one is a previous image previous image is too much dull I know and this one is a present image which is like the edit like Max Senior Man and thanks for watching my video tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and till then bye bye